What's going on guys, Jack here and I am back with episode 5 of the Aston Villa career mode series. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to slap a like on it. That would be absolutely great as we have the month of October coming up. Games against Norwich, Brighton, Manchester City and a cup game against Sunderland will um, cap off today's episode. So we are top of the league currently after 7 games played. 18 points, 6 wins and 1 loss. We are definitely on a roll. And speaking of players and a team on the roll and in form, Pat Sandaka grabbed the September Player of the Month award, which is absolutely brilliant. And also he grabbed the August Player of the Month award too. So he is a player on red hot form at the moment and a player that we are definitely looking into for goals. So last episode we did get the, the news that Tunzebe will be out for four months. Absolute bummer for us. Uh, but it does give the likes of Konsa a chance to come into this team and um, put in some good performances. As we do see a 2-1 victory against Norwich here away from home, which is even more impressive. Trezeguet and Nelson, the two wingers amongst the goal scorers there. Hernandez on the score sheet for the Canary. So three important points for us as uh, Ebre Eze does go up to 72 rated, a player that is gradually growing uh, steadily and uh, he's looking like a, a very solid player for us so hopefully get some more minutes for him obviously when Jack Grealish was at the start of the season he did play a lot more as we do get a 1-0 win against Bryson Trezeguet amongst the goals again the left midfielder the Egyptian on absolute fire for us at the moment as we do get the three points against Bryson at home like I said and uh, under the lights I believe at Villa Park which is absolutely brilliant and after nine games we find ourselves 24 points eight wins and one loss absolutely ridiculous and we know we know the state career mode is in you've got City, United, Liverpool Paul Spurs, 5th down to 8th, which is absolutely crazy. Um, definitely need a fix for that. And speaking of Manchester City, we will be playing the champions now away from home at the Etihad. Here's the team we are going for. Daka, Grealish, Trezeguet, Nelson, McTominay, Nakamba, Mings, Engels, Gilbert, uh, Jamal Lewis, and obviously Tom Heaton in net. And for City, it's not a bad side. It's not their best side, though. Uh, Mendy does start. Cancelo, Laporte. Um, a very poor midfield apart from Christian Eriksen. Bernardo Silva... Uh, makes up a lackluster attack with lots of Sterling, Aguero all on the bench. Uh, we should be the favourites for this game. It really should. And I know about the controller glitch, guys, uh, about changing the, the first team. And I will get to that. It's just I don't have a controller working at the moment to be able to change that, which is absolutely frustrating. Uh, we will be looking, though, to get that changed as soon as possible. As a, a free kick is saved here from Heaton, does fall to Nakamba, who loses that to Gomez here. Does find Nemchenko there. Nemchenko does find it back into Bernardo, back to Gare, who finds Christian Eriksen in tons of space. And the Dane does fire it into the top corner. 1-0 Manchester City at this game. 15 minutes to go. Well, on the clock, should I say. And uh, it comes from poor defending, playing out from the back, which is really... Backfired for us. The camera goes straight to his man and City, potent in passing, uh, unlocked the door and found that, that shot on target and found the goal. So they do have the breakaway goal here. Christian Eriksen, great effort from him. Heaton from that distance, no chance there from the Englishman. And that is one that nil to Manchester City. But nevertheless, we do come forward again. Reese Nelson on the attack links up well with Jack Grealish here. The two English boys uh, really linking up so well that build up play. The cross does come in. It tries to find, I believe that's that Dakar down the middle there couldn't get to him as Jao Cancelo gets onto the ball now does find Gomez he gets cleared away as far as Eriksen again back to Gomez Gomez to find it in them checker who gets his shot away and he really should be doing more there uh, Pep visibly frustrated with that effort as we approach the second half now uh, great um, con compact play here from Villa as Wesley plays the ball down the line to Trezeguet here the Egyptian on red hot form does find Wesley turns away it gets the shot Grimshaw does produce the save and Mendy does get the ball clear again Villa starting to build up ahead of steam this game here as John McGinn links up with Grealish one touch passing here from Villa uh, Wesley and Grealish have been so good for us on that uh, attacking line as Gilbert fires Grealish Grealish back into Wesley here Wesley with the opportunity and Wesley with the finish. Villa back on terms with just a little under 18 minutes to go in this game. The Brazilian who hasn't had much of a look in since Pat Sandaka was firing the goals in in the, the last few games. He, uh, he's come onto the pitch now and he really has turned things around. His link-up play with Jack Grealish has been absolutely spot on like I said earlier and uh, you can see it all here. The run off of Grealish here. He knows where he is and the finish is exquisite. Bottom corner, well played. Christian Eriksen lines up a free kick now. 10 minutes to go. Looking to regain the City's lead here. It's the Dane from range and it is a simple save there for Tom Heaton. As the ball comes forward, it's cleared up the pitch here. 
very, very far here. Uh, the City defenders don't know what to do with this one here. Sule doesn't get it clear, and Grealish does find Wesley. Wesley turns away from his man and does find Trezeguet. A man banging full, shoots first time, and Grimshaw produces uh, an excellent save to keep City in this game. 1-1 one, one, the score still, and it really could have been 2-1. That could have been the winner. Um... Barring great goalkeeping here for Manchester City. The game comes to an end. The full-time result, Manchester City 1, Aston Villa 1. And again, we just go to the post-match comments there. Um, obviously, that unbeaten winning run comes to an end. Uh, we do get Pep back for a draw. And it's fair to say that the team morale is still high. We push on to the next game. Like I said, we're just trying to keep that team morale high. Keep it going and keeping the team, uh, obviously... Um, as high in spirit as possible. As you can see, there's still a lot of uh, wrong with the uh, interview answers there. Uh, Krumo just needs to be fixed, really. As uh, we speak to a couple of players here, uh, Kalanich wants um, more game, game time. We might try and give it to him. We might not. We'll see what happens. And Jack Grealish says he's happy with the amount of football he's getting. And when he keeps performing like he is, since he's come back from that injury, he has been a pivotal uh, component of our team. He really, really has played well. But it's time for the youngsters here. Daka does spearhead the attack. Ebre Eze does fall in behind him. Douglas Luiz gets a chance. Jota gets a rare start too. A constant house at the back. Uh, interesting to see how they do. Target at left back. A rare appearance for him also. But we are in the round of 16. A win here today would see us into the quarters. Um... And, you know, we, we want to do that. We want to be at Wembley. We want to day at Wembley uh, after last season, obviously going up via the playoffs. So we, we definitely want to uh, challenge Sunderland and give them a good run for their money. Uh, the team for them, 5-2-1-2. Um, you know, players that you can really pick out. George Dobson, the centre midfield, West Ham player. Will Grigg up top. Uh, other than that, you know, it's a pretty standard League One team. As the ball comes in here, Eze does win the header and does find El Ghazi. The build-up play is good here as McTominay comes forward. No one really shut him down. The Scotsman gets the shot away. Good save from the Sunderland keeper. Jota keeps it alive, but it does get eventually cleared by Sunderland as Target gets on the ball now. A deep cross in there. Does find uh, Gilbert. Falls back to Jota. Jota does find Douglas Luiz here. The Brazilian onto the ball. Squares off to McTominay again. Does find Eze. Eze turns away. He shoots. Again, straight down the throat of the keeper. But a relentless attack and assault here from Aston Villa. As Jota is coming forward. No, I'm really close to shutting him down here. He's got tons of space to run into. It's still Jota who shoots from range. It gets saved only as far as Patson, Dakar and Villa have the lead just before the half an hour mark. It is that man again. The goal scoring machine. Patson, Dakar and guys, just a friendly reminder if you are enjoying the video today, make sure you do hit that like button. And definitely subscribe if you are liking what you're seeing. More Karimo content coming.